Hello, and welcome to 31 Days of Halloween, Movie Review Monday. And no, that isn't a Snapchat filter. I'm actually wearing cat ears, at home, all alone. Because that's how excited I am about October. Some of you might be wondering, is this what she does now? Movie reviews? Is this a thing she does now? And the answer is no just for this month. But if you guys seem to love it, I can add it beyond October. Since I love scary movies so much, and like most other people, watch a lot more scary movies during October. Personally, I already watch way more of them than the average bear. So I thought I would add this to my schedule for the month. Now that we have that out of the way, I have been on a mission to find some gems among the garbage of scary movies, and I found two so far, Teeth and Mom and Dad. First up, Teeth, rated R, a 2007 dark comedy starring Jess Weixler, was written and directed by Mitchell Lichtenstein. High school student Dawn works hard at suppressing her budding sexuality by being the local chastity group's most active participant. Her task is made even more difficult by her bad boy stepbrother Brad's increasingly provocative behavior at home. A stranger to her own body, innocent Dawn discovers she has a toothed vagina when she becomes the object of violence. As she struggles to comprehend her anatomical uniqueness, Dawn experiences both the pitfalls and the power of being a living example of the vagina dentata myth. And wow does she. So the first five minutes I was thinking, oh no, another stinker. It appeared to be low quality, and I thought it was going to be really cheesy. And I was so wrong. This girl finally finds a guy to whom she wants to deflower her, but changes her mind moments before. Well, no doesn't mean no for him, and he proceeds to attempt to take what he wants. Luckily for Dawn, she has a built-in self-defense mechanism, and well, no means no more penis for you. This movie had a lot of laughs and super messed up parts, but I will tell you, if I were a guy, I don't think I could watch it. At least not after the first incident. But if you think you can handle it, I would highly recommend it. The movie gets better as it goes along and leaves on a cliffhanger in a way that they could actually pick up and make a sequel at any time. Hopefully with a better budget and slightly better script. The lead actress was among the better of the actors, and had she not been so good, this movie would have been intolerable. All in all, if you're looking to get freaked out, this'll do it. One critic even said, It's one of those films that has a genuine shot at acquiring cult classic status. And I totally agree. Or, if you really want an intense ride, Mom and Dad is a 2018 dark comedy Written and directed by Brian Taylor, starring Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair, rated R. A strange disorder suddenly causes parents to violently turn against their own children, forcing a suburban teen and her younger brother to evade the clutches of their now deranged mom and dad. However, their situation gets even more complicated when their grandparents show up for a visit. I've been wanting to see a new movie with these two lead actors for a long time, and I hope this movie means we will be seeing more of them in the very near future. I will admit, I went into this movie hoping it would be good, and it was. About five minutes into the movie, you feel the tension rising off of these parents, the stress from their jobs and lives, and basically the stresses that all parents put on themselves is something that most people can relate to. As their day goes on, something inside of them snaps. In fact, it happens to every single parent in the world at the same time. The violence seems to only be pointed at their own biological children. The way their kids fight back adds to the horror and hilarity of the movie. And one of the funniest slash darkest parts of the movie is the fact that the dad and mom who were seemingly on the brink of divorce trapped in marriage they both hated come together to murder their children, giving each other supportive nods on their creative ability on how to effectively murder their own children. 
Nothing seems to slow them down, including an explosion and at one point a gunshot wound from a gun the younger child found under his parents' bed. This movie was so good I might watch it again this week, and for me that is highly unusual. That means it's now among one of my favorites. For you OGs here, you know how much I love a good dark comedy, so this should be no surprise. One critic said, Nicolas Cage does crazy like no one else, and I totally agree. You can find Mom and Dad on Hulu, Teeth is on Netflix, and you can find them both on Amazon, but neither is Prime, so for some reason you have to pay to watch it there. I hope you enjoyed this first day of 31 Days of Halloween. Join me tomorrow for Taco Tuesday, where we will be discussing possession and exorcisms. If you want exclusive content that no one else gets to hear, consider becoming a Patreon patron of mine. Normally you get weekly uploads, but for October, there will be 12. So it's a good month to consider joining. See you tomorrow and every night at 8, all month long.